What is up, everybody? Trenton with Soundlink Magazine with Islander. How you doing, man? This is Mikey from Islander. I'm not, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Islander. <laughs> no. He is Islander. No, um, no, thanks for having me, dude. I'm good. Yeah, of course. It's been, be a, back. Yeah, it's been a long time since we chatted here. You just played a show here in your hometown of Greenville. You're getting ready to go out and tour with He Is Legend. And I know the band that played tonight to speak of Wolves. So what are you looking forward to with this tour and everything? Um, I'm hoping that the van and the trailer just keep working. That's, that's what I'm looking the most forward to. I'm seeing if that happens, but I, 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 I'm really excited to go out with his legend. Um, I've never, I've, I have, I've never really seen them. I've, I've met Skylar one time when he was filling in for Dead Poetic, uh -huh. but uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, awesome. So you guys have a lot of stuff going on now, and so if anybody's been paying attention to your Facebook lately, they see some new faces and some promos, and then uh, you guys went on Instagram yesterday, and then um, tonight at the show, you guys said that you are no longer on a record label, which is Victory Records. So, what's been going on in the Islander camp? You know, with the you know new member switches, and then uh, with the whole uh, not being on a label anymore. Um, back in December, we were on tour with I Prevail. No. Okay, sorry, that was March, <laughs> February, March. My my life's running together at this point. We were out with uh, Volumes and The Word Alive, and um, we just started talking and the guys were going different directions in their life as far as um, Aaron had just had a baby and uh, it was really hard for him to be away uh, she, she's such a little new baby he needs to be home with her and Zeke uh, his wife actually having their third baby oh, wow. so financially and just uh, for his family's sake I mean he couldn't keep doing this so he went home so all that's totally understandable JR he just wanted to do normal life he's never done that since yeah. he was he's been doing this since he was 15 so um, we just talked about it and um, we knew back in December but we wanted to, to kind of be more of like a, a smooth transition and artistic kind of thing so the guys kept touring with me um, so that I would have time to find replacements so we shot a video for casket and that's kind of how we announced that they were out by me burying them uh, in the in the in the in a grave. So that's what happened with that. Uh, they are alive in a well, though. They're they not. Are alive they're well. not in a grave. I've spoken to all of them recently. They're doing well. We still talk. It's nothing negative. Okay. Um, all positive. Um, and as far as Victory Records and that whole thing, um, we uh, we just mutually split ways. Um, it just it was a better situation for them and us. Uh, you know, I think a lot of people. Want to hear dirty details and things yeah. like that? Ever since stuff went down with the Day to Remember or any other band yeah. that you can Wikipedia, it's been on Victory or whatever. But for us, dude, I, I just want to have integrity with the situation, and I don't want to go and talk a bunch of junk and and say a bunch of stuff. And I just, I would rather look at the future yeah. and say, you know, here's what we're doing, and and I and not you know get all involved with all the drama and stuff dude I, I just i'm excited about the new stuff we're releasing and everything we have going on and um we're just taking one day at a time okay so we we uh we were on tour with corn uh, a couple weeks ago and that's when everything kind of happened with the label we were having conversations and just kind of came down to that so that's that yeah it's kind of interesting because as far as, you know, at least from what I could perceive and stuff, you guys are one of the bands on the label who are actually, um, I guess, one of the flagship bands. You know, you guys are on the radio doing these massive tours, you know, and, you know, like smaller bands like Broadside are getting picked up in the background and stuff. And so, like, um, I guess, what, did that have anything to do with it? Or, the, your, like, your, I guess your stance on, like, I, I guess your size on the label or anything? Were you guys not growing as you wanted to? Were you growing in a way that you didn't want to or anything like that? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, we... We have our differences with the label, but every, I think everybody's, every band's got a difference with the label yeah. or whatever, dude. It's, again, like, I'm not trying to be cornered into a, a comment on <laughs> no, it. No, no. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just grateful to, to be a free agent, and um, I, I think that's awesome. And, and uh, I think everybody should keep supporting the bands that are on Victory, dude. Like, yeah. um, we were going to play the APMA, uh, the um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. this week but um they took us off that because it's a victory sponsored event so the, oh, wow. 
you know, them putting the money, it doesn't make sense for them to have a, have us on there if we're not on the label. So, um, but I, I just want everybody to keep supporting those bands, dude, and, and, uh, and, and just keep listening to what we're about to do, man. We're, we got some big stuff in the plans. Okay. So. Yeah, so obviously every band starts off as a local band, you know, trying to grind, work hard, work your way up and stuff. And so without a label then and without a label now, what are some things you are – going to do with the band to try to push it in the way you want to go and so without the support of a label like what what are what is the game plan there as a independent band to like make your brand grow or develop as you need it to be um i don't really think bands like record labels aren't what they used to be in the 90s and stuff you know it's it's not like people are making money off of anything like that and, um kids aren't buying records dude like I, the record label model is just kind of weak dude like uh, they need to find something else to sell and that's what we're trying to do you know as far as the music i mean Everybody's trying to figure out how to navigate the industry right now. Um, labels get upset because bands aren't selling CDs. But if Beyonce is not selling <laughs> CDs, then and she only sold like what was it like fifty thousand a couple years ago, and everybody was like tripping out about it. Yeah, so so if, low, if yeah. Beyonce is doing that, you can't really be upset with Islander. <laughs> well, I mean, if your band sold fifty thousand CDs, I mean, in the first week, that'd be really good then compared to Beyonce. So that'd be that'd be success for you guys, yeah, like for a band for a rock band the size and everything. Um, so you guys are playing a new song and everything. Uh, it, it has a little, you know, fun vibe to it and stuff. Has still has the heavy element in there and stuff. So where are you guys going with this new direction? And where, when can fans expect more new content and stuff? Uh, we recorded two new songs for a, a seven inch, or now it might just end up being like a digital release. Okay. But uh, there's a song called Heartbeat of a Punk and um, the one that we play tonight called Summer, and we're going to be releasing those soon. We're going to do those independent, I believe. And just throw them out there for people to to do what they want with, you know. And we shot a music video for Summer recently, okay. so we're going to be releasing that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, um, I've always had an independent mindset when it comes to to being a band. Like, before we ever even got signed, we, we were always doing our thing, yeah. you know. And when we got signed, it was more about, I think, finding out what that does for a band, I guess. Yeah. We, you know, it was exciting at the time because, you, you know, you you want to you want to know what that side's like and then yeah. and then you get there and you go on tour with all those bands and all the bands are trying to get off their labels <laughs> so i yeah. don't know I, I think that we're just going to keep doing us you want to try to do another um crowdfunding type campaign for music and stuff i have no idea the, the world is so our the our our choices have just gotten so crazy very this, true yeah. this past week that we're just like well, what do we do like because like we have like tons of labels already calling us oh wow and like we're just like uh okay so we have meetings with labels set up but at the same time we're like kind of like the idea of being free agents like if we have a booking agent and we're, we're on tour and able to get our music out to fans still and again they're not buying records like what's the point yeah <laughs> yeah so. All right. Well, being a free agent, um, I have a feeling that there's really no label holding you back from talking about you know upcoming plans and stuff. So like after this tour with his legend, what do you guys have come up for the fall and into the into the end of the year and everything? Um, we're talking to a few bands. Uh, I, even though we're not on a label, I still can't ruin surprises. <laughs> um, um. Yeah, I don't, don't want to ruin surprises, but we're we're trying to stay stay busy. Okay. So that's that's the goal anyway. We're also going to be looking at recording a new full length, maybe maybe like, again like and when i say maybe like we're going to be recording for sure but we're not sure if we're going to put out a full length and do like the album cycle the way bands do that again like i think if you look at people like lil yachty and stuff and, and look at more at what hip-hop's doing they have more of like a i think the right idea and if they're making the money and they're figuring out how to how to get their music out to more people by just throwing it on soundcloud it's like well, well maybe, maybe that's the way to do it. well i've heard soundcloud today is about to go away and so they've played off a lot of people so soundcloud may not be here much longer okay that's uh, what, so that sucks the the internet <laughs> the interwebs the interwebs yeah. there you go the internet <laughs> in general it'll still be there okay well i got a fun one for you and let you go um if uh, one of those labels happened to be Fearless Records and they called you up and they said, hey, we're doing a Punk Goes Disney album, what song would you like to cover? What's, what uh, Disney song would Islander cover? Uh, first of all, it, it, I don't care about what label I'm signed to next if we sign. Well, well they, they, put out that, they put out the Punk Goes series, yeah. I just yeah. want to say for everybody listening out there, it doesn't matter about the label, it matters about the deal. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Some, some guy down the street could offer me a better deal than a big record label. Very true. So... Um, 
what song would we cover? Yeah, if uh, if you could go on a if Fearless put out a Punk Goes Disney album and they wanted you guys to be on it, what would uh what would that uh Disney cover song be? Journey into the Imagination, uh, the Figment Ride in Epcot. That's my favorite. I don't think I know that one to be honest. <laughs> Look it up. It's, uh, there's a song. It's called um, oh, what's it called? Um, one little spark or something like that. Imagination. You'll you'll hear it. It's the one with the little purple dinosaur dragon. <laughs> okay. It's, all, right. it's, it's annoying. <laughs> it's awesome. My wife hates that song now. Oh wow. All right, man. Well, thanks for talking to us today, and uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys have in the future and everything. I'm here with Mikey from Islander, and I'm Trent with Sound Lake Magazine. Thanks for watching, everybody. Free agents.